be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. I am super proud of you guys and what you guys are getting done. So you keep that up, okay? If you have any questions. So here's my doubles fact, okay? So my add-ins, these first two numbers are the same, right? Summary. So these are the things we're looking for in our summary, that welcome wanted to believe in Santa, but he couldn't find questions. If you're struggling with the division or you have a question about math, feel free to reach out to me anytime. There's several of you that have asked and we want to come down at the same length. Good job. And then we'll come up here and let's draw the bottom of this coat. So we're going to draw the curve. threw open the front door and Kelly and Casey burst into the house. Merry Christmas, everyone, they shouted. They grabbed me. It is 6.30, very good. The hour hand, guys, has passed the 6, but it is not to the 7 yet. So you see who's behind me? Happy birthday oh to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Miss Ryan Smith, happy birthday to you. All right, so with the students at home and the teachers here in the building, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to introduce some of our wonderful teaching staff to you in a segment we have cleverly called, wait for it, Meet the Teacher. Pretty unique, huh? All right, so I'm going to choose who to interview by using the magic prize drop. Now, down below, you'll see we have all the grade teams listed down here, second, kindergarten, fourth, third, fifth, and first, all randomly done. I'm gonna drop this little disc in here and we're gonna see who we pick. Are you ready? All right, second grade, you're up. I am Julie Balzer and I went to Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio. Tracy Bennett, Wittenberg University, Springfield, Ohio. Woohoo! Uh, Stephanie Bowen, and I went to Ohio Dominican University. Alicia Nolan, and Youngstown State University. Uh, Melinda Scott, uh, second, I teach second grade, and I went to Wittenberg University. Oh my gosh, ever since, I'm one of those ones that ever since I was in kindergarten, I wanted to be a teacher because I loved kids, and so I started teaching my stuffed animals on my bed when I was probably five years old and it just never changed. That's just what I always wanted to do. My grandmother was a teacher. She went to Juilliard. I don't know, I, was, I think I was inspired by her, but I like children. So I wanted to have 10 children, but I didn't have 10 children, but I do really like children. They are awesome. 
When I was in first grade, my teacher was not very nice, and I had some really rough times in that class. And then as I got older, I just didn't, and I had some really great teachers, I didn't want any kids to feel the way that I felt. And I, with my other two teachers being so amazing, I wanted to be just like them. I actually always wanted to be a teacher. I, when I was little, I used to play school and failed my brother. <laughs> um, it was just always what I wanted to do. I just love working with kids and seeing that idea, bu idea bubble pop up over their heads when they understand something. So honestly, anything, but if I could pick my lunchtime item, I would be ordering a lunch special from Fat Daddy's Pizza and devouring the entire thing. I like Valerie's lunch. I don't have a specific item from there, just anything they might cook. Well, I do different things all the time, but I guess my second coffee, if I have another coffee. Diet Coke. <laughs> something sweet, chocolate, something. Get through the rest of the day. <laughs> not know that I have honeybees. My husband and I have two hives that we started last year and so we've got thousands and thousands and thousands of bees and I have been stung maybe about seven times which I feel like it's not bad for all those bees. So we are getting our own honey for the first time so that's probably something not a lot of people know. I've run multiple marathons and I had the chance to run the Boston Marathon. It was awesome. I am a published poet. Um, when I was in high school, I went to a poetry convention and had my poems posted, like put into a few books. And I got to meet Willard Scott and Lawrence Henderson. <laughs> I live 100 yards from where I was born, literally. I can see the birthing center at Madison Health from my front window. I want an alligator as a pet. <laughs> By using the magic prize drop. Now down below you'll see we have all the grade teams listed down here. Second, kindergarten, fourth, third, fifth, and first. All randomly done. I'm going to drop this little disc in here. And we're going to see who we pick. Are you ready?